Will the Premier League season be finished or is there a chance it could get cancelled? What's going on right now in the world with the coronavirus is absolutely unprecedented. And the first thing I want to do here is I want you to listen to the advice that you're being given. Don't ignore it. This is serious. So please listen to the advice that is going around. It's there to protect us. So please don't just ignore it. That's just morally and socially irresponsible. But talking about the Premier League, there is a chance, I think, that it could get cancelled. Would that be the right thing to do or could it be delayed? Do we delay next season? There's so many questions to ask about this situation. And Dharma Sheth was speaking about it on Sky Sports. And that's the video I want to use as a basis for my argument and my debate here. And I want to know from you in the comments where you stand on whether or not the Premier League should be delayed, cancelled, pushed back next season. There's so many different varieties. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But I want to discuss Dharma Shet's points he made validly that he was laughed at by his colleagues. In this clip, Dharma asks the most obvious question. Should Liverpool be given the Premier League title, seeing as they're 25 points clear at the top? Just say, for example, they said, right, look, let's just give Liverpool the title. Let's just say they said mm -hmm. that. We can't complete the season, give Liverpool the title. Well, where do you stop? They're not, they're not giving Liverpool the title. No, no, no. no Liverpool would Liverpool have, have, Liverpool won have it earned it. Got a, okay, Liverpool have earned it. You make okay. it sound like they're just okay. giving it. Okay, Carve, you said Liverpool have earned it. That's fine. Have they, have, they, have, they, have they won the title? Almost. Have they won the title, yes Not or yet. no? no. 25 points yes clear. Yes or no? 25 points Have they won clear. the title, yes or no? 25 points clear. Cave Solico coming over as a condescending idiot. It's not the first time I've seen that. Vicky Gormisal, I've got absolutely no idea why she would want the Premier League season to be finished and the title given to Liverpool. Hmm. But the point that Darmesh is trying to make here is not trying to strip Liverpool of the title, which they clearly and obviously do deserve. Best team in the league by far this season, 25 points clear. It's the fact that what that would mean, if Liverpool are given the title, what does that mean for the rest of the Premier League? And that is the point I think he validly, validly makes that the others just... Laugh down like they're a bunch of school kids. What I'm trying to say here is this, is where do you stop? Yes. So if they say, right, Liverpool have won the title, yes. because they're top of the league, Yes. right? So Man United will say... But, they are, but yeah, I hear you, but they aren't just top of the league, they are 25 points clear. I know. So that is a, a huge gap. And I know what you're going to say, the others, you know, there's a jiggery-pokery of who does what. OK, let me explain that, this jiggery-pokery then. <laughs> just say, they say, right, Liverpool have won the league. Yes. Other teams will say, right, because you've decided Liverpool are top of the league... Yes. ..and that you've given them the league, Man United could turn around and say this. Manchester City's ban stands. We're currently fifth. Mm -hmm. So we should get Champions League. Right? Yes, yes. Sheffield United will say, well, we're two points behind Man United and we've got a game in hand. We win our game in hand, we go into fifth. Mm -hmm. So how is that fair? If Liverpool are given the title and nobody would really argue it, because they do deserve it, it just opens up an absolute minefield that Darmesh really goes into a good bit of detail there about. United are currently fifth, City are banned from the Champions League next year. That means United get Champions League football. And don't get it twisted that this is just going to be a sort of agenda-driven conversation because I'm a United fan, I don't want Liverpool to win a title. I don't, obviously. But United... Getting Champions League football next year because the season is cancelled would be an ideal situation. It's perfect. So it would benefit United, it being cancelled. But it wouldn't be fair on Sheffield United, who are two points behind us with a game in hand. If Liverpool are given the title, it just opens up a can of worms and so many questions that can't be fairly answered by everybody. And that is the point that Darmesh is trying to make. And that is the point that Kave Sodico, and Vicky Gormesor and Brian Swanson seem to just but completely not or can't get their heads around. It's not about robbing Liverpool of the Premier League title they clearly deserve this year. It's about the fact that it wouldn't be fair on the other 19 teams of what would happen next. And Darmesh makes another valid point in reiterating this issue. Because you have to have a cut-off point, so that would be the cut-off point. Yeah, but it's not a level cut -off playing cut -off. field. Well, it, it kind of is, because that's How? where because we're How? Because United haven't played the same amount of games. Well... You'd have to say, Aston this Villa. is where we cut Aston it Villa, off. should they get relegated? 
They've played one game less than everyone else. They win that game in hand, they're out of the relegation zone. Then what? OK, we take a game off everyone then. There we are. So that make everything else level playing. Take the last game off so that everyone's played exactly the same. Ah, yes. Vicky there with the perfect solution that none of us have really thought of. Just take a game off and then it's all completely fair. What an utterly, utterly bonkers idea. But the Premier League is facing an unprecedented situation with two, I suppose, main choices. Number one, you somehow finish this season. Now, the Premier League is delayed at the moment until the 3rd of April. It will not be safe for footballers and for fans to go back to Premier League football on the 3rd of April. So that will be delayed. The Premier League season next year is going to start. I'm not sure when it starts. Is it the end of August? Start of August? I think it's the start of August. Around about the 6th, I think it started previously. Will the Premier League have time to finish? If the Premier League has time to finish and it doesn't delay next season, then there's no problem whatsoever. But the reality is, say, look at Wuhan, for example, out in China. They've been on lockdown for a couple of months and they're still going to be on lockdown for another one or two weeks. This pandemic is going to last a lot longer than we all thought. So the idea that football is going to be back by the end of April, I think, is massively optimistic. It's obviously what we're going to be pushing towards, but I think it's optimistic. And I, if there's no time to complete this season before the start of the next season, then surely the only option you have is to cancel it. Who that would be most unfair on? Liverpool. Obviously, they'd be taken, well, their title would be taken away. It will be massively unfair on the likes of Leeds and West Brom down in the Championship because they're having a cracking season and looking like promotions on them. But you can't just give Liverpool the title. You can't just relegate Norwich and Aston Villa. You can't just make these sorts of decisions without the season being finished. The Premier League title was given to the team who is top of the table after 38 games. 38 games are not being played, so no title can be given and no team can be relegated. That's obvious. So the second option is to cancel the season or delay that maybe there are more than two options. It's such a mad, unprecedented situation that we'll never hopefully have to face again in our lifetime. And it's why there's going to be huge debates. The Premier League are meeting today to discuss new measures. Euro 2020 has already been cancelled. Sporting events all over the globe have been cancelled. You're not in the United Kingdom right now. You can't hold a mass gathering, a sporting event. And that's rightly so, because it's dangerous for people. You can't expect footballers to go back and play games behind closed doors, even if testing is there, because it's dangerous for them. Fans will turn up outside. You think Liverpool fans aren't going to ignore the government's advice. If Liverpool are playing, it's behind closed doors. They'll go and there'll be thousands of fans. It's morally and socially irresponsible to think that the Premier League season can be completed behind closed doors. It will just open up problem after problem. If the season can be completed before the start of the next one, or do you just delay the next season? Do you just knock it further down the line? There's so many options that you can choose, but I want to know from you in the comments, do you think if it comes to it that the Premier League should be cancelled or should it be delayed long enough that it can be completed and we'll just deal with the impact of what happens further down the line? As I said, it's an unprecedented situation. I want to reiterate my point there that please don't ignore the advice that's going around. It's there for the safety of people. It's going to get worse, but don't make it worse by being an idiot, going to the gym, just doing what you want. This is real. And I want to know from you in the comments where you stand on the Premier League. What is the right thing to do? Let me know what you think.